only superpower is willpower. A uh, point brought up by a uh, Jocko Willink podcast, number 103. Um, him discussing a book of an, of an English soldier during the French Napoleon Anic Wars. And towards the end of the book, he's, the author of the book says that while he's at his shop, that those are the times worth remembering. It's times in the field. And then uh, Chuckle Willing just um, afterwards mentions that these guys are just regular guys. These are not um, people with uh, superhuman powers like in the movies. And I thought that was a very um, important thing to point out because... <clears throat> to me, you're fucking pathetic. If you have a fucking sad fucking face in America in 2017. Yep, as plain as that. Nope, I'm not Mr. Joyful, Mr. Big Smile. No. But you're not gonna catch me with the fucking. Let me turn my. Smile upside down and give you a sad puppy face, but like, oh, what woe is me? Help, help. I can't do it. I can't take it any longer. Um, no. And in some way, somehow, I, I need to thank my hardships in life. Because it, it was those hardships that uh, fucking dissolved my ego. A major part of it. I still, I still have the ego, right? I still want to be an attention whore at times. Taste some delicious Chinese food. Another shit. Other shits that are just uh, pleasures, not necessities. Why am I so harsh on critiquing people? Well, again, we're, we're in a time where, oh my goodness, the kids played ball. All right, everyone, get in the trophy line. There's first place, there's almost first place, there's very close to first place, and here's participa participation trophy that's equal to first place trophies. Uh, doesn't everyone feel all warm and fuzzy that everybody wins? And uh, I think that shit only only weakens us. Could you imagine if I try to sell you a print or a piece of work or a shirt or, or something offered it to you? And he said, no, I'm good, man. Um, not my style, not my thing. I don't have the money. I'm good. No, thank you. And I cried out, no, but you don't understand. I did my best. You should buy it or else you're hurting my feelings. You're um, discriminating. You're um, face baiting. You're using your white, <laughs> you're using your white privilege. Um, you're wrong. You're offending me. I deserve to win. I deserve to make the sale. Fuck that, man. I 
I remember this uh, schmuck. You should see me um, when I tried to um, when I tried to go to community college peacefully. <laughs> when I tried to learn at community college. I remember this one dude was fucking hating on me. I could read it in his eyes. So I'd have one bitch holding hands, rubbing her ass, going to class. And so we'll go to that class and have another bitch waiting for me outside. Then grab, get on my phone, and make plans with another bitch to fuck around. Then got a Saturday around two or three open around that time when it gets together. But this dude looked at me, and uh, I'll say that on the good luck scale, I'm thinking he um, he beat me. Oh yeah, dude, I'll, I'll admit it when someone's better than me in drawing. Athletics, looks, yeah, I'll, I'll admit it, but why would you hate on someone because they're making it happen? How much of a fucking little bitch are you to say, no, I deserve a little girlfriend like that. No, no, I deserve to get fucking bitches like that. Uh, no, you don't. No, you don't if, um, and I apply that to, um, to sales, to risk, to risk, to rewards, to benefits, to contacts. Is there risk involved? Uh, yeah, risk, wasting time, risk, losses of uh, resources, um, risk getting robbed while on the path to growing, or other shit. Yeah. There's risk and there's plenty of reward out there. I didn't blow my nose. <laughs> but, um, and, and there's people also that I met that, um, know that, that know my number, of, that know how many, so, how many numbers I have in my cell phone, how many clients I have waiting. Um, to buy my next piece, my next thing I have for sale. And it almost seems like, oh my goodness, I have it so easy. I got to sell here, I got to sell there, man. Um, look at the, look at the number of the videos that I've made. Hmm? How many of them am I sip, sipping on lean, partying, just having a blast? Now I'm a bit distracted because, you know, because all of those uh, people were minute and temporary in my life. You know, th there are people that, uh, I'm trying to think of Andy, this color here. There are people, <coughs> there are people that, um, That have people, there are people that continue to have people like that in their lives that throw salt in their game. No, you know what, man? You shouldn't have all those bitches. That's wrong. Oh, it's a sin. No, oh, you're gonna hurt their feelings. These bitches know that I'm not a one man whore kind of guy. So no, there's no fib in here was one that was introducing to the lineup. She was gonna get the smackdown. Smackdown of reality. And um, and I know it sounds harsh saying this but man Man, oh man.
thinking on my on the haters for a minute. If someone has a car that you want to drive, type of bitch you want to fuck, a person who lives in a neighborhood that you would like to live in, someone has something that you want, don't, don't be a fucking pansy, sissy bitch motherfucker and be like, oh, that person's so lucky. Oh, man, I deserve that. Use your willpower. Um, I'm trying to think where, where I learned this, but it's something like, can someone be 10 to 20 times smarter than you? And the question is, the answer is very, very unlikely. And then why are people earning 10 to 20 times more than you? Well, they're 10 to 20 times more effective. And uh, what can you do about that, man? That, and that's, that's something you need to fucking check yourself on. You need to fucking check yourself on that. You don't think that I would like to get some fresh air right now? Actually, stand up, stretch out, go get a back massage, go to Satanic Starbucks and uh, check out some of the nice round asses that come in there as they sketch or I could be here more effective uploading just making it happen put that stuff to the side for later and again um, just, just like the, the guy, author of that book from, from the English French Wars you know, John just points out that uh, they're just regular human beings, man. And uh, and to remember that, because in those times of doubt, I can't do it. I'm so tired. Oh, I need a nap. Oh my God, this is stressing me out. It's too cold. It's too this, too that. And you pause your uh, dream. Pause it. You stop it or choke it out. Whatever word you want to use. And before you know it, you just you quit. You quit and you don't do it. And that's, uh, to me, that's pathetic. I know, I know, I don't understand your life. I know, I know, I know. I know. You, um, you've had it tough, you know. You're blind and deaf like um, Helen Keller. Wait, was that her name, Helen Keller? <sighs> yeah, 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 I know. Poor you. Poor little low you. Think, think about that willpower. And listen to Jaco Podcast number 103 if you want to hear about fucking devastation. Man, some other things he shared in that podcast from the book. Wow. I'm one lucky motherfucker right now. Lucky. Fortunate.